friends. It's Crystal here. Thank you so much for joining me for Yoga Fit Flow with Crystal. Um, so today we have a pretty good um, sequence for you to work on your side body and also your core. So let's get started on the mat. And all you need is the mat. Um, you don't need any props unless you want to bring a block or two for your practice and you're welcome to. Let's get started. <clears throat> we'll begin on all fours, please. Make your way to your tabletop, hands underneath your shoulders and knees apart, knees under your hips. Tap the top of your feet, sort of wake up the top of your feet. Wake up your ankles, tuck your toes and lean back towards your heels. Lift your fingertips off the ground and push the heels of your wrist down. Heels up your hands. Come back to center, protract your shoulders and then retract. Protract and retract. Now step your left foot behind and right foot behind, come to plank. From here, do the same thing five times. Retraction, draw the shoulder blades in, keep your arms straight, chest and belly thigh are kind of engaged. Pull the energy up and back. Three more. And make sure that your crown of your head is reaching forward. Tailbone is reaching back. Last one. Hip hinge back to your downward facing dog. Whew. Let's paddle out the heel, toe, heel, toes here. And listen to the body here and see if you notice any part of your body is communicating to you. And if maybe you're, this is your first practice of the day. So go ahead and just bend your knees, twist from side to side, kind of do any movement that feels good in the body. Bend one knee and straighten the other as you twist. Going to the side body stretch. Keep your shoulders level as you're twisting the side body. And then slowly draw your knees back down to the earth. Untuck or tuck the toes doesn't really matter here. Just adjust your hands so that they are underneath your shoulders and we'll go in three rounds of cat cow teal here. Begin with cow, inhale, scoop. Scoop your chest forward, soften your belly, arch on your lower back, exhale, round. Going to your posterior tilt, feel the back body here. Inhale, anterior body, so move your heart forward and up. Feel the stretch from your belly button all the way to your throat. Exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Tuck your toes, push back to your downward facing dog. Wow. Come on to your tiptoes here. Roll up forward, high plank, bend your knees and press the back to your downward facing dog. Let's do two more breaths. Inhale, come on to your toes. Exhale, hip hinge forward, shoulder bypass your wrist. Exhale, moving back. Breathe in, one movement, high plank. Exhale, bend your knees and shift your hips back to downward facing dog. Now, a couple options to take as you spread your fingers wide apart, lift your hips up, and then look forward, bend your knees either one step at a time, walk to inside of your hands, or hop on exhale, you lightly land to the top of your mat and fall forward. If you feel like there's a lot of lower back tension here, your choice is to bend your knees a whole lot. So really listen to the body and then rest your belly on your thigh and that will um, release some of the tension that connects with your glutes and all the way to your hamstring and and your whole posterior chain. 
posterior chain. Let's bend the knees and straighten a few more times. Let go of your head and hands and your neck and let it hang. And roll up to stand when you're ready. Slowly, feel your core engagement. And then as you come up, your head will come up last into your Tadasana Mountain Pulse. Soften the shoulders. Hmm, soften your face. And as you stand tall, kind of find that engagement again. The front and your back body always connects. Your legs and glutes also connect in your mountain pose, but allow your shoulders to relax and arms and fingers to relax here. Begin to feel the breath comes in through your nose and exhale through your nose. Turn on your ujjayi breath if you like. It's to use the back of your muscle to constrict as the air comes through it sounded like you are fogging up or whispering, fogging up a mirror in front of you. You can hear this audible breath within yourself to stabilize you, to guide you back to your present moment. Let's begin with our sun salutation, shall we? Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bow or swan, dive yourself down. Breathe in, halfway lift, lengthen your lower back, especially all the way to the crown. On exhale, hands to, by your feet to the mat. We'll step your right foot back, runner's lunge. We're doing a classic sun, see? Oh, this is hands down, on exhale, step back to plank. Look forward. Begin to lower halfway or all the way. Elbows hug in, shift your heart forward. Untuck your toes, either to your cobra, co <clears throat> baby cobra without hands or upward facing dog. If you're in upward facing dog, feel the lift in your heart. Gazing forward, exhale, untuck your toes, lift your hips high, downward facing dog. So those are a couple options. As you transition, you can also drop your knees down to tabletop and then lifting yourself back up to downward facing dog. Let's take two more breaths here as you resetting yourself up. And next time you inhale, right leg goes up. Look forward, right foot step through. Fingertips by your front foot, inhale to your runner's lunge, gaze forward. On exhale, taking a big step, left foot meet the front, forward fold. Root to rise up. Now I'm swoop up. Exhale, hands to heart. Second side, inhale, arms rise. Exhale, either pour forward or swan dive down. Breathe in, flat back, Pull the belly in and shoot your head forward, the crown forward, tailbone back. Exhale, fingers down by your side of your feet, left foot step back. Square your hips, lift your heart. Plant your hands down quietly, lift up your right foot and step back to plank. Look forward, lower down, exhale to your chaturanga or all the way down to the belly so descend very mindfully inhale to your back bend of your choice you can push your way back up or go into your cobra on your exhale tuck your toes lift your hips high down dog hmm. take two breaths here again feel the posterior body opening and spreading and expanding breathing to your back ribs to your shoulder blades breathe left leg rises high inhale left foot step through exhale fingertips down lift your chest away from your front thigh and then on your exhale, step your back foot forward and fold. 
Will to rise up. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to heart. Chair pose. Wide leg chair pose. Utkatasana. Lift up your heart. Arm can be anywhere. Arm variations up to you. Pulsing here for five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to heart. Twist to the right. Either left hand to knee. Right arm back, knees are parallel, or elbow hook to the outside of your right knee. Knees are parallel. In case you're not sure, you can look back and see if your left knee is going forward or back. So, from here, you can open up your arms if that's in your practice. Hold it here. Hands back to your heart. Slowly unwind. Chair pose, inhale, lift. Pulsing for five, four, three, two, draw your belly in and one. Hands to heart, twist to your left, either high twist, right hand to your outer left knee, pull the right hip back, or go into a deeper twist, elbow hook to the outside of your left thigh, and maybe you'll open up. Keep your knees in line with each other. Bow and full, exhale. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, set your head down, step back to plank. Take your vinyasa or skip it. Maybe in downward facing dog. Right leg goes up, inhale. Prepare for warrior one, right foot. Quietly step behind the right wrist. Simultaneously, turn your left toes towards the left corner. So now you're more onto the right side of the mat. Root to rise up. Spinning the back foot down, the outer left foot. And then draw the ribcage in as you lift up your arms into your warrior one. Palms can face each other. You can also bring the palms to touch. And then... Reach your arms back a slightly bit. Looking down and see if your shoulders are stacked over hips. So there's no back bend here yet. Hold it here. We'll keep the bicep by the ears and then bend your elbows and bring your hands like a reverse prayer pose um, behind your skull. From here, hug your elbows or tricep or bicep, whatever it is. Elbow hug into your temple or head. Lift your elbows slightly upward and lean back to your hand hammock. So now begin to, um, to back bend a little bit. Squeeze your outer left glutes. Turn your chest straight forward and up. And release. Fly your arms by your side and hinge forward. Your chest is still away from your front thigh, almost like an airplane position. In fact, we're gonna go into airplane as you lift off your back foot, flex your toes, slip your heart. Transition here to your ego. Right arm underneath, left knee over, and then cross it over. Hmm, if ego bind is not available right now, you can also hold on to your shoulders and that works as well. And taking three more breaths, either toes press down to the floor for kickstand. And go into your nesting eagle for three. Or stay as you are, two. And on one, taking it back, airplane pose, stepping back as you land your back foot transition to warrior one, inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor, step back and take your vinyasas. Tabletop or your plank pose, dropping all the way or halfway. Inhale to baby cobra, cobra or upward facing dog. On exhale. Push back to your downward facing dog. Ah, two breaths here. Ah. 
Come on to your tiptoes, look forward, bend your knees and step, walk or hop to the front. Exhale, fall. <sighs> breathe in, rise up. Breathe out, hands to heart. Inhale, Utskatasana chair pulse. Swift your arms forward and up or out to a cactus arm. Hold it here. Hands to heart, exhale, fall forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, fall. Breathe in, step your right foot back. Ooh. And left foot back, plank pulse. Exhale, downward facing down. Taking your left leg rise as high this time. We'll prepare for warrior one. Exhale, left foot step behind your left hand. Turn your right toes towards the right hand. You are more onto the left side here. Bend the front knee. Send the outer right foot down. Square the hips, warrior one. And just start to look down and see if your rib cage flare out. You want to hug your ribs and belly in. Palms can touch. And then now, wherever you are, keep your palms together, bend your elbows, and then place the reverse um, prayer pose, reverse prayer position behind your head. Keep the palms together and elbows hug in. Lean back to your hand hammock. A little back bend here. Squeeze your right outer glutes. And exhale, take it back. Airplane, swip it down as you hinge forward. Hands by your hips, palms facing down. When you're ready, lift off your back heel. Maybe lift off your back toes. Rise up. Straighten both legs, square the hips, and gaze forward. Cross the right knee over, left arm under. Eagle bind from here. Elbows hug in. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other, and then we'll lift your elbows off your chest, a little bit away from your chest. Either kickstand or twining your foot behind. Begin to nest your eagle for three, two, on one. Hold it there, moving your elbows beyond the knees. Feel the upper back broadening. And on your exhale, you release your arms, send your right foot back, airplane, lift your chest forward. Land the back foot down, warrior one, inhale, rise. Keep your hips and your feet like hip width distance apart, so you're not in a train, uh, you're not in a tight rope, you're in a train track. Hands down to the floor and step back to plank. Take a vinyasa or skip it. Lower halfway or all the way. Inhale to your back bend of your choice. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Two rounds of breath here. Hmm. And send your heels up high after you finish the second round. Just bounce up and down here. Start to gaze forward. On exhale, lightly walk or hop to the front and fold. Root to rise up. Arms go up. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll take it to a little balance. Rise up your right knee. Knee can be just in line with your hip. As you lower your left hand, reach the right arm up and back to your hand and knee reverse. Gazing back, or hand can be on your lower back. Taking it back. Inhale, come back to center. And fly your right foot back as you lower your back foot down to crescent lunge. Warrior two, exhale. Flip your left palms up. Exhale into your reverse warrior gaze. Slightly up and forward, shining your left armpits, 
turning your chest, rotating your left shoulder up and back. Keeping your front knee bent here, inhale back to warrior two, into your side angle. So start to hinge forward, side body gets long. And then either sweep the left arm to the right side wall, right arm extended to the front of the room. And then rotate your upper back, right shoulder now this time. And gaze slightly up and back. Finding a st strength of your left foot. Breathing in, open back up. On exhale, half moon. We're gonna be floating the left hand to non-supporting, but you are welcome to get a block and set it to your pinky toe. So I'm gonna take my hands, lift my right foot, flow the right foot to about hip height, and then open your arm up. You can gaze up or not. Opening the shoulder, right shoulder up and back. And then land the back foot back down, warrior two. Ooh. To reverse, exhale. Breathe in, swing your arms forward. And then we're gonna come back to your reverse hand and knee. As you exhale, left hand to your right knee, right arm reach back. Come back to center and land the foot down. Inhale, arms rise, left knee comes in, switching the side. Exhale, open up to high twist, right hand comes to your left knee, left arm reach back or to your lower back. Hold it. Breathing back to center. Breathe out, airplane to your crescent lunge, land it back. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, open your left hip, left arm, warrior two. Flip your right palms up. Exhale to reverse, keep the front knee bent. Inhale back to two. Exhale to your supporter side angle as you lengthen your arm forward. Sweep the right arm to your left side wall as you extend your left arm forward. This time it's your left shoulder is gonna rotate up and back. Inhale, find your warrior two back to re <clears throat> your reverse. Exhale. Come to warrior two and set up for your half moon with or without block. So I'm going to go without block, pick up the back foot, extend karate kicking the back foot. Your right hand will extend all the way to the floor or nothing at all. Left arm can extend up towards the sky. Pelvis is level, hold for two more. Standing like you're strong, pressing the big ball now down to the mat and bend the front knee, lower down. Open back to warrior two. And then take it all the way. Windmill the arms, either thunderbolt here to start or both arms straight and forward. Pick up the left knee, Go back to your reverse, right hand to left knee, left arm reach back. And then slowly swing your arms forward, hands to your heart, lower your left foot and just shake it out. We're gonna come down to the mat now. As you inhale, arms rise. As you exhale, bow and fall. Halfway lift, breathe in. And breathe out, squat down to your malasana. Toes out, heels in into your yogic squat. This is more like a modern yogic squat. You can even come up higher if you like. Draw the tailbone down and ground, reach up. Set yourself up to your navasana as you lower your hips down. Lift your legs forward and maybe you hold the back of your knee. Maybe. You use your hands and support you, placing your hands by your side and just pressing it into the floor. Hold it here or hook your peace fingers on your big toes and lengthen. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Descend yourself down, lower back, mid back, and upper back all the way. Swift your arms around your head. Hmm. 
and then exhale. Lower your hands down to the floor. Press your feet closer to your groin into your bridge pulse. Inhale, lift your tailbone, lower back, move back, upper back up. So just do a little posterior body. Uh, one more time. And then we'll squeeze your glutes and hamstring, pressing your big ball mount down. You can interlace your fingers and walk your shoulders in. Lift your hips a little higher. On exhale, release your hands, shoulder blades down, descend your mid back, upper back. Windshield wipers your knees from side to side. And go into your final Shavasana as you exhale. Take whatever position it is. If you like to bring your soles of your feet together, knees apart into your Supta Bhattakanasana. Your bound angle pose is a hip opener. If you like to bring the knees together, feet apart, that will release some lower back tension. Pressing the lower back into the floor or any other inversion, legs up on the wall, on chair are always welcome. Our final Shavasana, separate your feet apart, arms apart. Let's take it to a feel silent moment here. Allow your body to rest. You're welcome to stay in your Shavasana as long as you wish. If you like to come out from your Shavasana, you can start to take a deeper breath. In through your mouth and release it through your mouth. In through your nose and release it through your mouth. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Bring little movement to the body. You can do a full body stretch by taking your arms overhead, lengthen your legs forward, give your knees or shins a big hug. Rock over to one side and then begin to help yourself up to a sitting position. And once you sit up tall, ground down your sit bones and bring your hands to heart center. Feel the crown reaching up towards the sky. As you bring your heart to, <clears throat> to your hands to your heart center, begin to feel connected to this moment. I'm grateful to be here, grateful to have this breath and so grateful to have this practice together. May you continue this practice off the mat and just be more aware of your thoughts, your actions, and your intention. Bring your thumb knuckles to your third eye center. We'll end this practice <clears throat> by bowing down to one another. May you be safe. May you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you find freedom and move your life with ease. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, and I hope you will come back to practice with me again soon. Um, I see you. I will hope to see you soon. Bye now. Thank you so much for practicing with me. See you soon.